right. Hello there, everybody. Welcome to the Allies Release Tournament, which Tracer is putting on for us. I'm playing here against Marcus. The pools have been formed. If you're a playtester, you're in a pool with other playtesters. So um, there's some sort of attempt at, I guess, fairness in that respect. The, um, the rules of the tournament are that for the kingdom selection is that you have to have an ally. This time we have Crafter's Guild. And then you have to have, in the first game, you have to have at least one ally card. And then in the future, those those go up. We'll play four games at one, three, five, seven. Um, this board does not have, well, I guess it has, doesn't have buy. So the gains are perhaps a little awkward. Remake is interesting. There's not really good threes. I mean, you just have to take silvers with them. So that's not that exciting. Though the alternative is also not too exciting. <laughs> um, Marcus goes with the town crier, which seems fine. Guildmaster is our. I guess I can talk about cards that haven't shown up in previews yet. I think Crafter's Guild was already in the previews, but Guildmaster is a new card. That's um, Terminal Gold. When you gain a card, plus one favor. So, um, definitely some ways to gain favors here. I don't know. Um. <clears throat> Time Crier isn't that good, but the alternatives are also not that good. And it's at least a horse. Which is something. Kind of wonder, well, one of these is, I think it's probably pretty good to get a sauna soon. Just for the sake of trashing these coppers. <clears throat> so I can go about this in a couple of ways. I can go for the 50. Oh, did Marcus get her sombrero? Well, that's no good. For him, I mean, it's pretty good for me. Um... I don't know. I mean, Blacksmith is fine to leave here, I think, for now. I guess I could have tried to get a thingy to play my remake faster. What is that card called? Miller. That wouldn't have been crazy, to be fair. Um, I probably won't horse... I'll probably horse a town car if I, like, have... Sauna, but no silver, or vice versa, like on this next shuffle. Um, but other than that, I'll probably just save them for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, we're, we're certainly game limited here. At least until I'm getting another... There's some point where you think about getting a smuggler's probably, but 
Oh yeah, I can't get a town car anymore because they're disappeared. I can just go to the end of this shuffle and not trigger, or I can really try to push a little bit. I think four and a trash is totally fine to just stop on here. <clears throat> you do need to get we need to start taking mining villages or um, captains. Either one. Mm, do I want a third? So like, how much do I care about getting? Let's get the guild master just to give us a better shot at hitting captain. This could be a captain and just in itself. At some point, I do need to just blow up the town cars and just be aggressive about cycling. Because there's nothing. <clears throat> you know, there's nothing particularly good about it. I don't think I need the... When does Crafters Guild happen to start a turn? Okay. I mean, there's a little bit of something to be said for like. Okay, so he gets the smugglers. Um. Yeah, I mean that's fair. Uh, the triple smugglers is sort of insane to me. <laughs> um. But I guess you can horse them if they don't. If they don't work out. So maybe it's not that insane. Um, should I try to get the more silvers or the, that's kind of, well, not kind of, that's just straight up a sad draw, but um, would have been great to find either, <laughs> but especially the guild master I don't know like I can't just not buy captains ever just on the back of they have smugglers in deck though it certainly is going to be a little bit of a problem I wish I wish I had figured out how to well, this just wasn't a very good redraw particularly for me. Finding the captain would have been a pretty big deal. Um, again, there's still not really a reason not to buy the captain. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a nice turn. I mean, I don't... <laughs> This is obviously awful, but I don't know, like, if, if I just, I'm going to buy something pretty good for me, so. Um, there's in some sense going to be, I'm going to kind of have this problem regardless. Um, I think at this point the remake is probably the thing to, to blow up. Um. This is a little sad, but 
I don't know how the captain horse stuff works exactly. Will it offer me... Okay. This is still all right. Marcus is pretty likely to just make it up to um get the three captains here. Uh, I already gained one, so I'm trying to think if there's anything particularly nice to buy. Somehow this is all going to come down to your ability to do duchy stuff at the end of it all. I think we can probably live with a four to six captain, though obviously it's not good. Um, The captains is like captains with whale force is just like crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> So I probably will get beat up by just them having the smuggler's advantage, but... I don't know what else... I just don't know exactly what else I was getting. I was hurt a decent amount when I didn't find the... I bottom deck that it was like a late game sombrero. <laughs> Middle game sombrero. I don't know where Marcus is at. I guess money-wise, he's probably not doing too well. Not that that's something that Marcus can't fix. Um... Third smuggle. Well, I mean, it's like a ride, basically, if you're not buying anything else. <clears throat> really know what I have silver sauna do I, do I have do we oh 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, I do it. What is the other card? Um. Really big deal if I don't. Oh, it's a mining village. Okay. What did Marcus gain? Just only Guildmaster? This is just, he's just going to have enough options out of here to make it. work fine I guess um because I don't know I mean obviously I can smuggle a bunch of stuff just for the sake of having having them in deck oh, I should have played my guild master but it really doesn't matter too much um I don't think I'm going to run out of tokens, to be honest. Uh, it doesn't... I guess if I never gain a guild master, I limit their extra gains a bit by doing it this way. Assuming that that doesn't actually just unlock a pile out. They can only get two smugglers. I mean, they can horse some smugglers. I don't know. It probably doesn't. Probably none of it really matters a whole lot. I guess the only nice... I guess I could go down to, I guess for my $8, I could go down to Silver Double Guildmaster instead of having four cards to make eight, but takes a little bit of time to trash that stuff anyway. Um... Maybe we, I mean, piles are getting lower, so there's maybe a chance that the, um, that with first province I can get a pile out. Between the crafters guilds and the remake options and smuggler stuff. There's like some chance. I think. Um, there's just going to be a big risk that it goes in his favor as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like Marcus beefs up the gains here. I don't know, maybe maybe Marcus can pile out. Remake seems a little scary for them to do because I may chain a little bit for me. But I don't know. Maybe maybe Marcus just has a pile out that they see. <clears throat> Otherwise it seems a little bit like uh potentially scary lowering. Um, but maybe Marcus has just already counted it and knows they can, they can get a win.
Otherwise, I would be kind of deathly afraid of this as Marcus. Or a little bit afraid of it, I don't know. Deathly is maybe too strong a word, but. Could maybe, maybe the money doesn't matter, but you would kind of maybe think they would be hitting a mining village trash. Money, the money may not really matter. Just very low. So, so far they've only gained remakes. And they get Elder. Elder just interacts with the... They also played their Guildmaster pretty late as well. I mean, they must have at least had it before they played that remake. Again, as long as you have two at the end of your turn, it really doesn't matter. So it's, it's unlike for me, it probably won't matter for the rest of the game. Like four favors is probably enough to never care about the order that I play Guildmaster in. And I mean, it's probably gonna be similar for for Marcus here. Okay, so he gains silvers. He gained remakes. I have to think. I just have a bunch of smugglers. Maybe don't lower quite so well. Um, you don't have a two dollar card in deck, which would be a little, which would be somewhat helpful. But I also don't have to keep the silvers, so those can go to remakes. And then I have to be able to do a duchy. I also can only like horse captains and saunas. I can't really horse smugglers. Um. So it'd be nine cards. We can we can horse the guild master. And we can horse mining villages, it's just Blacksmith is also on top, which is interesting. Cause I can do a remake. And draw three with a blacksmith. So it doesn't give an action. Um, it feels doable. I just don't really have a good count of what... I have two mining villages. <clears throat> I mean, how many terminals would I have to play to make this happen? The remix can gain two, so... Uh, we're gonna have to play at least... One smugglers. Don't know if we can chain them though. Uh, I feel like I just can't get through this and do the redraw and stuff. 
Um, I don't know. Marcus's captains are pretty unbalanced, which means this next turn is not as good as the previous turn. Um, so that's not nothing. I could also just try to tie. That's the other option. I can get the actions, I just don't know if I'll have the redraw. Because I can for sure just play like a million smugglers. All right. Stupid trash thing. Okay, so what? <clears throat> I mean, I guess we do mining villages to start. Well, the disadvantage is you can't get the dollar if you do the... Um... If we think we're going to need draw, you may want to do some horse later. Horse is. Um, you think you might want to trash one of the mining villages later on. Um, Not totally clear on how much of this I need. Uh, we still get up to five. It's probably pretty. Close to working. Um, I have two mining villages, I think. Is that right? I mean, I think this works for a tie, almost certainly. I don't think it works for a win. We gain four remakes with smugglers, and then we remake silvers for the last one. But you need a, I also don't know that I get the draw period. Unfortunately. I mean, you could do, I guess you could do a remake now. I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have more captains. Oh no, I have more. Forgot about that. That changes everything. <laughs> that totally changes everything. This should be easy. Or at least, you know, totally doable. Um. Totally forgot that. So last two cards are Mining Village and Captain. Um, okay. Where's my other mining village? Do I not have two mining villages? Am I confused? Oh, I guess I only have one mining village. Oh well. 
Um, so this gotta be remake. I guess it's just tie. There may have been some sequence to make it not tie, but. If I had a $2, it would be pretty easy. But I don't. Um. I'm just looking, like, I obviously have the tie in hand. All I would draw would be to... Because if I play it normal, I'll have the actions. But I won't have a way to make the money. Or I won't have a way to make the... Yeah, it just doesn't work. <laughs> Unfortunately. I don't know if there's maybe a way to... No, that just like trades out. I don't think there was a way to do it. Fortunately, there may have been. Actually, I, I, I didn't find a way to do it, but there very easily could have been a way to do it. Um, I'm not sure that taking... I, I Obviously, I thought I had it because I thought there was another mining village. <laughs> not the case. Um, There may have been some sequence to play that. The issue is getting around to a remake and a four while not you can't horse the you can't horse the um 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 Can't horse the smugglers. Because, like, I could have remade with Captain, which is more gains than just playing as smugglers, but... What does the desert guys do? Okay, at the start of your turn, you may spend a favor to discard your hand. Oh, it's like guide. It's like the card guide, and it's called Desert Guides. So we have Importer here's our only liaison, so there's no... Um, it's just we get to do that five times and then uh, there's no everything else is previewed my conjure was in the preview so we can do we can do like a sacrifice opening I mean the main thing here is kind of just getting thin and then you kind of have to think a little bit about I guess whether how you how you want to do payload which is not great here but it's okay-ish um Payload is actually just really terrible here, but um, I don't know how this plays out. I'm gonna go ahead and guide until I find my sacrifice, I guess. I'm not sure if that's actually the the play. But it seems fine. Five two would be like broken here. I don't, I don't know, like, the draw's weak, Hunter's gonna be not great draw, and 
you can of course just have like hunters and platinums and some squires and that's probably the deck to be honest um but it's not a not a real uh super inspiring deck it's fine though Yeah, I thought about Importer, but I think I'd just buy the fives. It could be wrong, but... This is, um... Not ideal, but... I mean, the Importer is probably pretty good. I mean, especially if you just have, uh... Well, okay. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, especially if you just have, uh, if you have the three, I mean, then your options are fairly limited. Uh, this is kind of nice as far as these things go now I've talked I talked down in Porter but now I think I'm probably just gonna get go to two <laughs> this is cool I'll get to shuffle in the importer car with my guides <clears throat> I'll probably do upgrade. So I'm certainly ahead in um in this right now. That was a the shuffle I got to do Squire and Porter Sacrifice was really nice. My guides have been pretty pretty stinking good I guess the double estate sacrifice one wasn't ideal but <clears throat> this is one this one is not maybe just see if we draw okay so we didn't find one of them but that's fine um yeah like the not finding the importer i guess in particular is it's kind of a pain there but <clears throat> i don't know if i just take a silver if i Take another squire, or if I take uh, another, just another four. The next hand is. I'm not sure how to play the next hand because it's not ideal. I guess one thing I can do, you know what I'll do? I'll buy importer, and I'll sack the importer, or maybe I'll guide, and just hope I. Yeah, that's unclear to me. <laughs> Whatever I decided there was not. But this is kind of okay to trigger the shuffle. Yeah. This isn't so bad. Uh, I think we just nothing. We go back for the squire later. I don't know. I think I kind of lost a thread of it somewhere in there. Not super pleased. Some of that's just what the hands had available to me, but... Um... 
think the last card's in Porter, right? Yeah. Does it make sense to take a four or anything? Does it make sense to take anything? Or do we just go for deck control first? We have enough silvers to hit seven if the hunters draw some cards. This is a little sad. But we'll just do a little trashing. <clears throat> Could do third silver. I'm not sure. Oh, that's not the, well, I mean, it's not a good hunter, but. <clears throat> um. hey, we don't guide this hand. That sucked. <laughs> We could do canal. I don't know if canal really is doing that much for us. On the other hand, I don't know. Probably not that bad. There's like, there's like three silvers in a state down in there. It's so, I don't know if that's the gainer. Like, that's incredible. Those two hunters back to back are actually just not real. That's like, you can't, you can't play around that. You're just, you're just stuck with that, with that life, I guess. Um... That's how it goes. <laughs> Hunter is the worst card. I wish Hunter wasn't the worst card, but geez, it just sure does look like it sometimes. <clears throat> Wonder if one of these should be get another importer here. Even that Hunter was pretty 
awful, actually. Um, which is annoying. Uh, I don't really know. Sacrifice is probably mostly done. Um, will I be able to draw back around to some of this stuff if I take? Hunter now. Like I should be able to, right? There's another distant lands. I mean, I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> I guess I pulled a hunter out of the shuffle. I don't know, actually. I don't maybe it didn't matter. <laughs> I didn't get a plat there either, which maybe would have been nice. So they have the hunter split, but I'm a little bit ahead in other ways, like points and stuff. We can also put, okay, good, there they go. They took lantern back. There's, um, Certainly, if we attack these distant lands, then the importers will go to, or, or can go to, really easily. And so, that's going to favor me, as long as I stay competitive with the distant lands. Anyway, maybe I shouldn't have lost the sacrifice. There may have been a spot where the the village effect was going to be nice. But. If I get like really lucky draws on my hunters, I can probably. Uh, I don't know if the gold really was the play. But I mean, it's not crazy to buy a colony either, which is the, what the gold would enable. I don't know that the like the junk dealer and upgrade stuff is that. It's kind of the cards he has above me, but those aren't doing a whole lot. I mean, eventually they gain golds. That's about it. I guess silver's to sacrifices may be relevant. But... It's not crazy to want to have a grave robber here. It's just it's not super super good. Um, hmm, this does get a plat while playing Importer Distant Lands, which is probably as good as I can really hope to do here. I don't think there's, um, <coughs> I don't know that I can hope for a lot more on my turns. Anyway, 13 points is this should be nice here. I do wish I had gotten another hunter somewhere. I don't know if I missed a spot or it was just how it shook out with me not doing importer opening. Um, yeah, they need another squire. Yeah, but if they hit those hits, then it's still fine. It's not the end of the world anyway. I 
mean, I guess I need to hit, I assume they'll be able to afford platinum here, which means I need to be able to, or not platinum, afford colony, which means I need to hit colony as well. Um, somewhere along the lines, you may just be like, I'm going to take a duchy. Like, I don't think I'm going to play these distant lands fast enough. I don't know when that is necessarily, but probably not yet. There's also a, um, there's like a aspect of not, of being able to just do double importer instead of distant lands. Um, does the buy do anything for me? Well, it doesn't even give me a buy, right? The extra money also, but like playing the hunter is also not going to do anything for me. There's a plat down there. I guess I need to hit the, I guess I don't actually have colony money yet, so I certainly need to figure out how to get that. Um, okay, let's do the upgrade. This reshuffle is potentially a little scary. I like a sacrifice. I don't know if there's a world where Marcus is like... That amount of lowering is scary because of the... Because I have canal. So importer emptying becomes... Not super difficult for me. <clears throat> I just need six dollars in a squire. I don't know how much. Oh, this was this was just a bad hunt. Hunter is just terrible. <laughs> And they even, that's it. I mean, that, they can play their cantrips, but they're going to eat some, some kinds of issues there, too. I may or may not matter, but I think I'm going to, I guess what's awkward here is I can't, I mean, obviously, I'm, like, close to just having it in hand, but I can't desert this is like a good enough starting hand for what I need to accomplish that I don't really want a desert guide. Um, just because having the sacrifice in hand with some stuff is quite useful. Uh, and it, but it could whiff <laughs> pretty easily. But I'm going to go for it. Okay, well, that's just it in hand. Um, that's that's nice. It was like, if you see any hunters or the platinum, it was going to be pretty much GG. I think. I'm trying to add, maybe I'm confused, I'm trying to click more and it won't let me, oh gosh, yeah this is just buggy, It didn't show them, and then all of a sudden it appeared. Well, I didn't center my title. Gotta fix that. It's a huge mistake.
guess I should click start game for Marcus. <clears throat> Okay. Well, I guess I'm not going to buy a two. Oh, geez, this is a board. Oh, God. You didn't even really need Academy. I mean, you... I guess you'd probably take it, but... I mean, you would take it, but... You don't need it, I guess. That's what I'm saying. This is uh this is something. I think three four looks nicer. But the fives are certainly uh competitive. Um I would have taken an old map there, but the way it goes this will I'll probably remodel into priest and then um silver is really unclear to me actually even though there are of course lots of strong fives to buy this is terrible I don't think second silver is doing a lot uh maybe it is this was I'm feeling I guess I shouldn't resign it because I still have put some good cards into my deck. But I feel a little restricted by my draws here. Uh, probably another silver is okay. We'll go for a fortress now. <coughs> Can't swap for an artisan, which is nice. They may get a mastermind. I don't know. The voyage stuff can be good, but there's certainly stuff to do. I mean, the problem with voyage mastermind stuff is always that, like this time, it's like here, it's really great. Then in the future, you have to wonder. on the voyage turns if you don't play masterminds or you don't get to your masterminds does that hurt your real turn too much I think this is just trash the estates and buy a four we don't need estates for fuel or anything there's fortress that's, so that's not really an issue um, though there's obviously like tons of reasonable things that, or tons of like good things you can do on your voyage turns so. We do need to hit Academy once, I think. Not mandatory, depending, like if you if you got the draws where you're doing the mastermind stuff and you had the, um, this is a terrible draw. <laughs> it's just awful. <laughs> uh, I could take a fortress here. This is so bad. Not being able to get to five. Like, it's going to be like silver, silver, silver. It's like silver, silver, priest, artisan. It's terrible. Um, and this is unfortunate because there's not even, like, a good... There's just not a good sequence here. Oh, well. It's just going to be Priest Copper by Academy, I think. See what the next shuffle brings us. <clears throat> if we have found, I mean, if we draw Artisan off this, then it looks pretty okay, but.
They at least don't have a modify yet. Hopefully the artisan is not on top. I probably should have taken a voyage when I had the when I had the chance to. So really deck composition felt like it needed a fortress. Yeah, this is depressing. This is super depressing. It's not, I mean, it's, this is just kind of the nature of this board. It's not really, my, my draws have not even been like that terrible. They haven't even been terrible. I wouldn't even use the word terrible to describe them. <laughs> They've been fine. They just way off pace what Marcus is going to do in the next few turns. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. I mean, if you draw, I mean, if you draw that, that, then I mean, <laughs> that's great. I don't, uh, that felt lucky, but he does have a lot of masterminds, so maybe not that lucky. He didn't like top deck him, did he? No. Well, no, 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 he drew him. <clears throat> that's funny. That's, I mean, that, I mean, that's a voyage turn. That's pretty great. This turn, and I mean, we can. I kind of want to let him just click a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know if, how Marcus is on clicking stuff. If Marcus wants to click or not, <laughs> but I'm totally not close. Some some mixture of. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where to lay all that. I am. I feel confident that I messed some things up, and also that there was some. Uh, 
imbalance and um what am I looking for here? All right, now we're going to do the super allies board. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to talk about, I mean, I guess we only rolled one thing that didn't appear in the previews. So tent is a part of the fort pile, which has a sort of terminal silver rotator and then a uh, duration draw thing that depends on the number of cards you gain during after you play it which is pretty cool and the hill fort which is a kind of a supercharged workshop thing and then stronghold which is just sort of whatever this vp pretty friendly duration option things um can be duration draw anyway uh i guess you do I guess you just do the overlord unless you have the five two. Um, but plain priests or modifies looks like probably the thing you want to do on your first shuffle. Um, I don't know. I don't. I mean, you give up. I guess you give up control of the. Whoops. Oh wait, never mind. That's how that works. Sorry. I got confused. Um, I did not have the 4-3, so I couldn't do what Marcus did there, which is okay. Uh, probably just do another priest. I mean, the Lost City is where the power is here. Actually, I mean, just in general, we have a lot of draw, but not a lot of payload. Besides some gaining. I don't know. Maybe eventually you can do Super Priest stuff. It's pretty awkward though. Feeling it looks pretty awkward. Especially versus, I mean, I don't know. You, you probably just get somebody who... Um, you probably just get to a point where you're like... I don't really like the second priest that much. I guess if you have an overlord, you can, if they all collide, you get village. Eh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I could believe that. I think it makes sense for me here. I can buy another overlord. Um, and potentially if I draw really well I just have a lot of pay off quite a bit of the debt here no I didn't so I won't but I wonder if you go back around here and get another one um, they are very good. Overlords are very, very good here. You kind of looking for a, like a special, like you play an overlord as a specialist. I guess we could go with a, how much money does that make? Okay. Yeah, there's something here. I mean, the fives will run eventually, then the overlords will look terrible. But the five, by the times the by the time by the time the fives run, we're probably looking at a pretty uh, pretty much a game over situation anyway. Um. I guess this will be specialists on Overlord. 
first one Lost City, and then we'll think about whether we're um, gaining or playing it again. I mean, if we can just draw the other pair, then we can still just do it with them. <clears throat> Which would be probably pretty good. The specialist doesn't, you know, go correct go quite as crazy as a as a disciple can but yeah this is unfortunate a little bit that was like the worst draw <laughs> basically possible It's okay. Marcus is still way behind. Okay. So hmm. I don't know if you do get the gainers like Duke, Town Crier, Bobble stuff. Not super exciting gaining. I don't know at what point and just take these. Yeah. All right. Well. That was the match. Um, two of those definitely got away. The other two were had some play. Um, and I maybe should have played for a win instead of taking a tie. Well, of course, I thought I had the win. I thought I had the mind flip, but uh, um, I probably should have played for. I maybe could have played for a win. Marcus didn't have his captains. Though on the other hand, Marcus did have quite a bit of stuff he could have horsed, like he could have horsed his blacksmiths and stuff to go for a pile out. So he But if I don't give him smuggler targets, he has to do the remakes and the smugglers by himself. So I maybe can play for a win on that game, but in any case, thanks for watching. I guess I didn't do any of the scoreboard. I'll do the scoreboard now there it is um playing another one of these sunday see you later